Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on Valley Spring. Now I did mention this last episode, uh, but say I want to buy a new baler. This will be a baler in addition to the round baler wrapper we currently own. Um, so it's going to be a square baler, either a quadrant type bale or a uh, Heston baler, which we're going to use for the straw and the hay. Because it's kind of slow doing it all with a round baler, you have to keep stopping to unload and it's a bit tedious can be anyway on a big field so I thought it'd be nice to have a second baler for doing hay and straw. So I'm going to go and buy that now, I'm going to head down to the shop and uh, go and collect it. So I'll just head down there quickly and see you down at the shop. Right so here we are at the shop, let's have a look at balers and see what we can buy. Now I know they're quite expensive, we've only got 153,000 in the bank which uh, even puts that one out of price range. <laughs> That's quite a big baler though. Um, I think the Heston balers are actually cheaper when I last looked at them. Uh, these ones. Well that one's 125,000, the old style Heston, but the Massey Ferguson Nagco one is, is 90,500, so it's a bit lower. So that might be a good one to have. 190 horsepower requirement though, which is quite a lot. I think the JCB should be able to cope. Keep the tyres standard, I think. Um, so we can have different brands. I think Massey Ferguson, Fent, New Holland. Doesn't change the price. Um, if we just stick with the Massey Ferguson one, I think. Ah, twine sucks if we have to refill the twine. Um, I think we'll leave that off, it's pretty easier. <laughs> um, so we'll buy that. For 90,500, it's quite a lot of money, I know, um, but I think it will save us quite a lot of time and it will make bigger bales. So, uh, it should, well, it's certainly easier to stack bales anyway than the round ones, which can be a bit awkward to stack. It'll stop them from rolling down the hills as well. Um, I will just check the requirement of our, or the power of our tractor 230, so yeah, it should just about be okay. It is within the uh, limits, so that should be fine. And we'll head to the field then. It's got a flashing light on the uh, baler as well, so we've got three beacons on there. That's quite good. Pretty wide, this baler. Ooh, pedestrian load. I never normally stop for them because I know they're not going to actually get injured. If it was more realistic and you actually could knock them down, I would certainly stop, but obviously being a three plus game, it's not a violent game, so I'll just. Uh, usually just bother, don't bother to stop <laughs> just drive straight through them because they're not really there in, in terms of being a solid, solid object you just, uh, you just go straight through them okay so the field we're going to do is just down here it's the bottom field it was a canola field so it's the first time baling canola straw but I'm imagining it's going to still be just straw it won't say anything different we know different to wheat straw or barley straw Step behind a tractor, an old looking tractor. What is it? Can't tell. Oh, it's an old Fiat. And this is the field on the right that we were going to be baling. So we should be able to get that done fairly quickly with this size of baler. There's a field there, look on the left, which uh, oh, it's only a tiny field, but that's ready to harvest. I haven't done a harvest contract for a while. Here we are on the right. Let's go in there. And we will unfold the baler. And start baling. Let's get around the corner, drop the pickup reel down and make a start. So I'll do this on time lapse. We'll see how many bells we get out of this field. You found home. I know. 
Once the fill or bale didn't take too long at all really with this new baler, very quick. So there we go, just get the last bale unloaded, or last two bales. There we go. Now I wonder how many bales we actually got out of that field. They're big bales as well, I think they were really 13,000 litres each. So they are the biggest bales I've made so far. The brown bales are 11,000 litres for straw, so yeah they are at least 2,000 litres bigger I think. 14 bales in total created there in that field. So, yeah, not bad at all. Anyway, now we just need to head back to the yard. There's a bit of in cab footage, shall we? Don't do a lot of this first person view, so it's nice to do it for a change. Just basically taking this back to the yard now and then probably come back with the tally handler and the lorry and get them loaded up and uh, we'll be using these for TMR mixing I should think we don't have that many straw bales, it's our um, lowest supply actually of straw so we need more straw got loads of silage and quite a bit of hay I think our grass field will be ready for another cut though so we could possibly cut some more hay um, or we could always do silage and then sell it when the price is good in the winter which isn't long now actually, it's September I was thinking that our uh, soybean or field field bean, it is field bean field, would be ready in September, but it still isn't ready, so it's going to be October now, which is quite surprising actually. But we can start drilling, we've got plenty of drilling to do, so once we've cleared the bales from that field that we've just baled, we will probably do a bit of drilling or mowing. So, like I say, we have got our grass field which will be ready again. Sure, yeah. I'll have a think about that while I'm doing the bale stacking and uh, see which way I want to go with that. Not sure which job to do next. Anyway, we're almost back to the yard now. Just uh, running over a few pedestrians there. <laughs> this is a bit of a narrow road, this. And the bale is even wider than the tractor. Should be able to turn right here. Where is it? This entrance here tight but yep can just about do it and it's very steep as well it looks even steeper in first person than it does in third person view I'm flat out here I'm only doing 10 miles an hour and we'll be turning left into this field it's amazing how different it looks when you're in first person hedges look a lot higher got the big field here on the right to do that needs drilling so yeah loads of drilling to do We've only drilled one field so far. Oh yes, and of course we've got our new little tracks here, track marks through, which is quite a nice idea of somebody to, to put them in. Somebody suggested doing that. Now where are we going to store this baler? I think there should be space in the in the shed around the back here. Yeah, those are silage bale supplies, so there's quite a few. Should last the winter that. If we do have a surplus, it's always good to sell some. Worth a fortune in the winter. Right, so is there room in here? There should be, I think. Oh, yeah, loads of room. Get that next to the rolls then. There we go. Perfect space for it. So I'll drop that off. There we go. Very nice bale of that, actually. I quite like it. I don't use the Heston size bales very often, so it's nice to use one again. Right, so next job, like I say, is get the tally handler and the lorry. Um, and I'll get one to follow me on the follow me mod. Uh, the lorry probably can follow the tally handler, probably the best thing. So I'll put that on, the, on follow me now. Work. Yep, there we go. And I'll drive down to the field and we'll get those custom bells cleared. Show you the way out of here. Feel the 
drifting away, drifting away from all of the crazy. I only want to show you the way, show you the way. I feel the pain, but drifting away, drifting away from all of the crazy. So I've got all the bales loaded now. It didn't go quite as well as I was hoping it would. Uh, the bales don't seem to be sticking to these, or they seem to be sticking to these uh, tines a bit. Sometimes it works okay, but uh, yeah, they're not not exactly perfect. I'm pretty sure it's not operator error because uh, I can do the other bales all right, but these ones do seem to be sticking a little bit. It might be the, uh, the tines I'm using, the bale spike I'm using. Maybe it would work better with just two tines rather than four. But sometimes they seem to stick quite a lot, more than normal. I know they sometimes do stick, normal bales, but these ones seem to be sticking a bit more than they should. Um, and it also doesn't seem to spike perfectly all the time, as well. it seems to go halfway through and not all the way. So I don't know quite what that's about. It's annoying, but it's doable. I've managed to get them all on. So next job will be to take them back to the yard you will have noticed that the lorry did get stuck on the way down, so I might actually stop over now and put the telehandler behind, and I'll drive the lorry. I think that might be the safest thing, especially with a load of bales on. Don't want them to uh, get stuck anywhere or fall off. So, yeah, I'll jump on the lorry and drive this back up to the yard, and we'll get these offloaded in the bale storage area. Now, this one on the front probably would have been better off at the back, is a bit tall. I was going to do them three high, but considering the trouble I was having, I thought it might be safer to do them too high and uh, hope they'd all fit on. And they, they have done. Now I'm stuck. It's not the bale that's stuck, though, it's actually the lorry that's stuck on the ground for some reason. They all look strange. Actually, I seem to remember I got stuck here before with the lorry once. I don't know what that's about. Some sort of bump in the ground, I think. Oh, traffic. Yeah, that top bell looks a bit weird, I know. <laughs> Probably would have been best off on the back, but never mind. You're not going too far with it. Should be okay. So I'll get this back up to the yard and we'll get them unloaded in, in the yard storage area. When I saw you, I would lose control. Made me feel like there was no tomorrow. Should have told you that you're beautiful, but the day's passing now. Well, that's all of the straw bales brought back and stacked, and definitely, yeah, there is some sort of issue. I think it might be with the pallet, the bale spike that I've been using, possibly, but it might be the bales. I know it works fine with these bales, so it could be the bales, but either way, they do stick more than they should be doing, I think, and uh, they don't seem to spike very well either, so, yeah, it's not as easy as doing these bales, unfortunately, as it turns out. But I'm still glad I bought the bale, because they're nice bales to see and use, so if I can just find a different bale spike to use it might be better, but we'll give it a go probably next time. 
In fact, that even looks <laughs> looks a bit like a manure fork, doesn't it, in a way, rather than a bale spike. Maybe there is a better one. I could have a look now, actually, just to see if there's anything a bit more suitable. Yeah, that's, that's a manure fork, but it's yeah, it's it's got more times, but it looks <laughs> with four times it does look a bit like one. There's one look. Um, but yeah, these are ones for the quadrant bales. They actually work really well, those ones. I used them in the past and they were, they were nice. That's the one I'm using at the moment. Um, which just leaves as, it, as that one. That doesn't look too good. Yeah. Could try it. Um, or there's, yeah, that, there's that basic one there. I'm sure there's a mod. There's probably loads of mods as well, which I haven't looked at. I don't tend to look at mods for bell spikes, really, because you don't normally expect to have a problem with a bell spike, <laughs> particularly. <laughs> but you never know, um, as is the case today, it seems. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I find the pallet forks, I know it's totally unrealistic and you would never do it in real life, really, but I find the pallet forks tend to spear the bales better than the bell spikes do in this game. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's jump into the JCB again. And I think I've decided I'm going to do some mowing. I guess uh, I want to get another cut of grass off that field. It would be a shame to lose it before the winter, so we'll do another grass cut on our new grass field. Probably, um, I can't decide actually between silage and, and hay. Maybe do both again. The last time we cut it, we did a bit of both. It's probably worth doing that because then we get the silage to sell probably and uh, keep the hay for the cows probably go down that route. So we'll get the mowers on and we will head down to our new grass field again. Get another cut off that. So we've got the mowing done now, um, but you, as you saw, we definitely need a bigger tractor for these mowers. It does struggle a lot on the hills. It's okay going downhill, obviously, but yeah, going uphill, it is down to about two miles an hour, and that's awful. <laughs> it's far too slow. So my next big purchase is going to have to be a larger tractor for these mowers. I know I've said this before, and I didn't do it. I should have probably put the money for the bailers towards a bigger tractor, but. I did like the idea of having a square baler or Heston baler, so uh, that's why I went with that first. But yeah, I think we definitely need to get a bigger tractor for these mowers. Although that is the end of the mowing probably for this year, unless I find another contract to do. 
I don't think my field is going to be ready again. It's uh, mid-September now, so yeah, there's not going to be enough time for that to grow back again for another cut. But even so, it's still going to be nicer to have a larger horsepower tractor, definitely. I just can't decide whether to sell this one or the Deutz tractor and replace it, or whether to buy an additional tractor as well as these two. So I quite like the speed of this JCB. Um, could always replace it with a bigger JCB, but they're quite expensive. And nice to have something a bit different, I suppose. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I can't afford it yet anyway because we've only got 62,000 in the bank and I'd rather not get another loan straight away anyway. Anyway that will probably do for today, I'll just drop the mowers off um, and then next time we'll get the middle part of the field um, with a tether, go over that with a tether for hay and obviously the headlands I've left for silage so they can just be bailed as they are. I think we've got a tether, I'm sure I bought one. So that'll be the next job, I'll probably get that on actually. It's around somewhere. Or did I lease it? Oh, I probably leased it didn't I again. Because it's something I don't use very often. Yeah, I have leased it. So uh, I have to remember for next time that we need to lease a tether to do the, uh, the hay for that field. I keep forgetting we haven't got one. I don't know whether it's worth buying one though, because it's just something we don't use very often. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.